hydronephrosis this is a very important topic okay is it's, it's in regards to kidney so just calm down don't scroll make sure you watch this video you might know somebody that is having this issue hydronephrosis is when your kidneys build up urine they become enlarged and they can't go out okay the urine can't go out they, when they check in the scan they will find out your kidneys are enlarged with urine so this condition is very serious when you don't treat it this will infect the kidneys it will lead to pyelonephrosis which is it will infect the kidneys and you know back and forth um, stasis of urine it can damage your kidneys so why i'm making this video is because of messages i've been getting people having this condition and they are going to pharmacy to take drugs for prescription or going to chemist for um because this thing causes pains okay so i'm going to do um signs and symptoms what causes this um issue and how to prevent it right so so um because of the pains and you know they've already done a scan and they find out that this is what they have they result to going to a pharmacy or a chemist for drugs so when they give them the um you know painkillers you know the thing comes down the pain comes down and then later it comes back again they give them antibiotics to treat this this is not the rightful treatment of this condition it will still keep coming back and if you're not careful if you're not careful you may lose your kidneys because this urine is still there it has not gone out infection is keeps reoccurring and you keep taking painkillers back and forth so please listen attentively okay and at any point you stopped watching just finish the full video on my youtube page i also do um pyelonephrosis there so um causes of this stasis of urine is when there is a blockage something is blocking your urinary tract so urine is not flowing from the kidney down it, the blockage can happen in your urethra where the pipe that comes down from the kidney where urine um, drains from the kidney or your bladder any part of your um, bladder where the urine you know is stored from there you can urinate or the ureter where the urine from your bladder you urinate it down so any part of this urinary tract where there is blockage you will, the kidneys will you know the urine will go back to the kidneys and you know swell okay so what can the blockage can be kidney stones now kidney stones is very important it's on the rise i've made a video about that it's on the rise people that are taking coke kidney stone is on the rise so you need to be very careful you can watch the video of kidney stones on my youtube page too so kidney stones blocking any part of it also i have a video on how to remove kidney stones too that my youtube is, is loaded so if you're not there so the next one is cancer um another one is bph this one is we men suffer so this thing um, benign prostate hyperplasia why where you know the prostate gland is pressing you know on any of the urinary tracts right blood clots um you may have nerve problems urinating so um urinary retention problems utero cell you know where your uterus comes down and um presses on any of the urinary tracts okay and then pregnancy sometimes your the fetus your baby bodies in and press the bladder or any of this place and urine can pass through and then it swells up okay uterine prolapse some people their utero, uterus has come down okay it's um pressing on any of the urinary tracts so i've explained what the urinary tract is right so having known the cause of this now let's get to the signs and symptoms how you may know you're having this number one frequent urination because you're having this urge to urinate you have this urge to you because the urine is there so the kidney wants to get it out but because there's a blockage you can't get it out okay so you have frequent urine when you want to you know you just urinate small you won't even urinate but you have you have the urge okay blood in your urine of course because it might be clot or injury has happened you're having fever due to urinary tract infection um 
your urine the way you, your urine level has reduced but you're always feeling that you want to urine, urinate yep. you have sudden pain at your side or backside you're vomiting or you're having nausea okay nausea means you, you feel like vomiting now how is this thing diagnosed how do you know you have this now urine tests will be run to find out if there's crystals or stones suggesting or infection the kind of bacteria suggesting you have an infection or you're having stones or whatever a blood test will be done too to find out your um you know count your white blood counts to find out if you have infection or the kidney test will also be done to find out if your kidney is still functional okay blood urine nit nitrogen kidney function test will be done um you also your doctor might ask you to do mri ultrasound ct scan now this is actually the series of tests that you're going to do to make sure you've been treated you won't do all of them they might choose one or two or three okay so now why would you do this test and you now go back to a chemists so now having talked about the symptoms let's talk about how it is treated now because there is no the urine is not flowing it's built up first of all the first thing your doctor does is to make remove that urine first either through urinary catheterization or they have a way to remove that urine first because it's a danger as it is there it's a danger it can you know travel infection up there so they re they remove the urine first find a way to remove the urine so after removing the urine they now find out what is causing the blockage is it kidney stone is it um uterine prolapse is it um clot what what is the problem they will try to find a way to get rid of the problem okay so or is it urethra structure what is causing the issue so they will be find a way to deal with the issue remove whatever it is that is causing the street so the most important thing in the treatment of hydronephrosis is that you need to find out what is causing the build up of the urine because if you still um they give you the painkillers they give you and the antibiotics they give you in the, in the pharmacy the urine is still there you're not killed you're not cured now pain is i used to tell people that pain is a good thing but not a good thing for us um, you know like literally in medic in medicine pain is a good thing it shows you that your something is happening to your kidneys or uh, shows you that something is happening in your body that is you know not fair so suppressing it is not really a good thing so when you notice pain find out what is going on you know when you keep suppressing it you might not really know what is going on so those drugs they give you in the pharmacy chemist suppresses this pain and you know releases the relieves you of the ability to find out what is going on on your system so this is why i tell people to find out the cause before treatment this pain is however just to reduce this drug is just to reduce the pain so don't ex don't um rely on them when people ask me what drugs will i take um i'm having back pain i'm having this no so after um, sorry for wasting your time in explaining this after um you know finding out what is causing it and putting in measures some some will take a long time but it's a gradual process they'll find out what is causing this and after that of course antibiotics will be started depending on the microorganisms now, now those ones they gave you in the pharmacy you might not even know if it's going to work or if it is more than the bacteria so these are the things that leads you to complications okay so my next video, I'll be talking about hydronephrosis, um, pyelonephrosis, that's infection of the kidneys. Let me know, everybody have kidney issues, you have to follow this my page, but you have to have a little patience with me because of so many women questions that I, I'm answering, okay? So, and also, um, drop your question, let all the people um, doing dialysis, kidney transplants, follow this page, they will learn a lot. Have a wonderful day, please subscribe, please, and like this video, it will help me a lot thank you